Good morning, writers. I wanted to take some time away from the desk this morning. It's about half eleven here, and I'm just having a walk around the local park because it's been a busy week with not so much the writing, but lots of YouTube activity on both of the channels and trying to make sense of what I might be recording over the next couple of weeks. Thinking about what it is that we write and the connection between how we write and the way that the topics we select and focus on actually have an impact upon us. And I noticed that in the last few months, I've really been doing far more on the self-help and the how-to books information and that's been my point of focus really and I think what I enjoyed about the period up to February was having more time in fictional story writing and I really enjoyed that. That gave me something to focus on that had been different this last year uh, of writing different things for fiction stories but because I've been spending the last three months on non-fiction creation it's been very difficult to look at how I feel when connecting with an actual story because the story is more relaxing sometimes it's more exciting but the process of creating non-fiction can be very logical very practical all the time and it keeps me in that kind of left part of the brain which isn't as much fun as writing fiction has been yesterday was a sunday and here on a sunday in the city the local authorities shut down many of the central streets and give people the opportunity to roller skate on streets that are free of traffic or to cycle or to bike ride and it's a phenomenal facility so tens of thousands of people will get hold of their own bicycles from home or they'll rent an eco bike from the city area and just have several hours riding around streets that are completely free of vehicle traffic um, and it made me think about the idea that I've been stuck at my desk with too much focus and not getting out and about on a regular basis. So yesterday was a great opportunity to get away from my desk but also just to have family time as normal on a weekend. But to think, what can I do to get away from my desk more often? This city park is only 500 metres from the house so it's a great opportunity to be out and about getting some fresh air even if somebody's cutting the the trees and cutting the grass here but it is a great opportunity to be out and about and away from my desk other things that you, you and I can do we could grab a coffee with a friend book that in the diary and leave the house one day next week just one day for 30 minutes or a couple of hours to spend time with somebody who we care about whose opinion we like and whose ideas on the world can be positive and helpful for us and we need to take that opportunity on a regular basis. It is easy to get lost in our work. I find it very easy and addictive sometimes to be looking at YouTube shorts, particularly for my other channel, which is a faceless channel. It's nothing to do with writing. And I often feel the need there that I should be uploading content, three or four little shorts a day. Um, and to be honest, if I record five or six one day, and upload one a day, pre-program them to upload, that's absolutely fine and it's enough. But to be out and about here is just superb. It's a nice park, I can walk around it in 20 minutes, but it gives me something else to do to get away from the house. What can you do to get away from your house, to get away from your desk, and to spend that time just doing something else, just being out and about in the countryside or like me in a city park for me to get out to the countryside from here is a good half hour's drive out of the city so to have this on the doorstep is perfect 
But writing is a lonely business. Writing means you and I on our own all the time, sitting at our keyboard or sitting at our notebook. And when I say notebook, I mean physical journal notebook, paper, paper notebook, rather than uh, a laptop. And scratching out the words, scribbling out the words, getting the content produced for an article or a non-fiction book or a story. And like I said at the start of the video, when I just walked into the park, I'm missing the very different creative energy of writing fiction as opposed to the non-fiction that I've written for years. And I know I need to get back into that. Is there something within your heart or within your thinking that says, I've done enough with this particular theme or this idea for the time being and I want to be able to create content that is which is different and which nurtures me because maybe that's a sign that you should be doing that maybe it's a symbol or an indication that what your focus can be is upon something that inspires you more which excites you more which gives you more of a thrill or a buzz when you're writing it which you can create output quickly and happily without thinking oh this is hard work for my brain or this is emotionally tough or difficult and I don't want to do it. We choose this game of writing, we choose this activity of putting words onto screen or onto paper so it makes sense that if we're going to be on our own for hours and hours we should actually do something that we enjoy. So I think what I'm noticing this month is it's probably time for me to step away from some of the non-fiction creation and instead to create more content that is that which thrills me and excites me and which I really, really love. through a gorgeous thicket of bamboo just there, next to the aviary within the park. I'm just coming up on a black squirrel. I don't know whether you'll see him, but as we go past. So think about what you want to write. Think about the process of isolation and being on your own all the time and why that might be something you want to reduce ever so slightly by bringing in one activity a week where for an hour you step away from your desk and you connect with other people I'm going to see if I can step away from my desk for an hour each day this week and what a difference that might make for me as I come back to the desk feeling refreshed and happy that I've been out and about, I've taken a walk and I'm in a good place. It's easy to think that time away from our desk is time away from our goal or activity that is important to us, but in actual fact what we're trying to do is be productive, to be creative with our writing activities, with the energies that draw us to creating fiction or non-fiction in the way that we produce content but if we are tired exhausted burnt out and we are distracted from those activities which give us a sense of renewal then to be honest we're missing a trick because being out and about having that change of scenery being in a different place all of these things are good for us and we need to do them. So take time away from your desk. Find an activity that you know you enjoy and put it in your diary. Instead of being on our own, it's okay to reach out to a friend and say, hey look, let's have a coffee, let's meet up for a milkshake, let's just shoot the breeze, chat through some ideas, or to say I could do with some support, I could do with some time with you together so that we are active and producing.
to book some time in at the coffee shop. Go roller skating, pick up your rucksack and a bottle of water and go for a wander through your local city park. If you're fortunate enough to live near a trail or a footpath network, pull the boots on and go for a wander. But you can be back at your desk in an hour's time, feeling refreshed, having got some exercise, not just having a change of scenery, but a change of, of air in your room. It's one thing to open the window, but it's another to go out and about and to be amongst the trees and the flowers and to have that totally different sense of being out and about in nature. I love this park, but it's been a mistake that I haven't been here for two weeks. To be here now and just to have a little bit of time walking about um, has been tremendous. There's a little coffee shop stall near the entrance. I'm going to grab a coffee and I've got, of course, I've got a notebook in my back pocket and a pen in my rucksack. And I've got some ideas for something I can work on over the next few days. So let me do that and take advantage of this tremendous day. Wherever you are in the world, happy writing, happy scribbling, but also what can you do this week to get away from your writing desk and give yourself the break that you deserve?